In this video we're going to take a look at my custom Marvel Legends Wesley Snipes styled blade. Hello and welcome back to Jacob's Toys. Please do like, share, subscribe, all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. And in this video I'm going to give you a quick run through of my custom Marvel Legends blade inspired by obviously the Wesley Snipes version of the character. And this is one of my photographs I took of the figure so I'll show you at the end of the video how I went about doing those. So let's take a closer look at the figure itself. Now I've just put him on a rotate, rotating base so that you can see him at a full 360 um, and let me just break down what parts I used for him. Now the head I was sent a cast by Marvel Legends UK, thank you very much guys. Now the actual sword that I used and the, the throwing knife thing, I don't know if it's got a name or not, I can't remember, but the throwing knife thing and the sword were from the original Toy Biz Marvel Legends figure. Um, although the guys at Marvel Legends UK did send me um, some printed ones. But these two here pictured are actually from the original Toy Biz figure. Now you can see here he's got a sheath on his back. Now because the sword and the sheath don't come together, it doesn't actually fit in it, but it looks quite the part, so I wanted to put it on. And that was also sent over to me as part of the printed set. Now the actual figure itself, the jacket is actually from a black series. I think it was a Hux figure. Uh, but it's just a cool black trench coat. The Marvel Legends trench coat seemed to kind of have like a blowing effect and I wanted one that just sort of sat on the body um, and came all the way down so that's why I used this one. Now the top half of the body is from the Marvel Legends Punisher, the Netflix Punisher. Um, don't shoot me, I did get hold of this at retail when they were quite easy to get hold of and the bottom half of the body actually is the same as the Punisher but I didn't have the bottom half and they are actually from the MCU Mandarin figure. As you can see here, I just stuck the sheath onto his back and it looks pretty cool. Um, I just thought it made sense to have the sheath because obviously he has a sheath in the film and it just made sense to have this. And because you can see the kind of block through it, it looks like it's part of the jacket. Now the buckles I actually took from the Toy Biz figure as well and I just stuck them on the top like so. And that's pretty much it. I painted the whole thing black. Uh, the arms are from a gambit I think I think it was from an X-Men's gambit figure but they were the jacketed arms and again I just painted those black now Marvel Legends UK sent me over a uh, a holster for his gun but I've not painted that um, because it looked too big to put on the figure so I didn't want to use it and the actual gun he uses as well and again I can't remember if this has an actual technical name but please put it in the comments if it does I just gave it a black coat with a quick dry brush of silver and they also sent me over a sword but it's a little bit smaller than the one I'm using so I decided to keep the Toy Biz one and they also sent me over a 3D printed uh, blade like a throwing knife but this is a lot thinner than the one that I used so again I opted to keep the Toy Biz one they also sent me over some of these EDTA darts as well but I didn't want to put them over the jacket because they're the kind of thing he would have worn on his arm not over the top of the jacket now if I just pop out the throwing knife and I'm going to just put the gun in just so you can see it now the handle on this is a bit bigger than the regular sort of pistols that the Marvel Legends figures have so it will stretch the hand out if you leave it in place for too long but it really does look the part. The scale is pretty much spot on and it really does look the part. So there we go, there's his gun in his hand. Uh, let's just have a little play around and just get him into a bit of a better pose because that looks a little bit weak. Now because I painted everything black there's a lot of articulation in it and there's no paint rub anywhere as far as I can tell so I've got full articulation in the figure let's just have a closer look at this Toy Biz throwing knife now the Toy Biz version did actually retract there was like a, a mechanism in the middle so I just cut that out and glued these two pieces together to make a solid piece let's just mess around with this arm That's, that kind of weak pose is, is really annoying me so there you go just outstretch his arm there and then he's got his sword in his hand and obviously shooting some vampires now we know that Wesley Snipes is going to be replaced in the MCU pretty soon, but considering Mar uh, Blade was the original Marvel Studios film, it's true, look it up, um, I wanted to have a Wesley Snipes Blade in my collection. And they've not actually revisited him since the early Toy Biz days. Now if I just have a look under the jacket, you can see what I've done here with some detailing. Just painted in some silver on the uh, actual details that were there already, just to kind of replicate the way that Blade looked. Now although the jacket's really cool, I think I'm going to do some alternate arms for this figure so that I can add all the tattoos and everything on him because he did have some pretty cool tattoos in the film. So that's my plan going forward. But for now, I'm really happy with the way this looks. Let's have a look at some of the photographs. This is one that I just did kind of in the alleyway with the same pose. And it's just a simple alleyway diorama that I built myself just to show off 
blade and here he is with a motorcycle as well this was just a, a, a motorcycle kit I think and again I just sprayed it black um, and it doesn't light up I've just got a light reflecting in the headlight there so it looks like it lights up but there he is with his arm stretched out pointing his gun holding his sword I'll just do a little behind the scenes of that here we go you can just see the kind of lighting setup that I've got for this particular shot I've got a, a light there with like an orange light coming onto him I've got a red light behind and then a blue light off to the side with a headlamp over the top and this is another one just with a slightly different pose and him holding his throwing knife again the red light behind and I've used like a fog effect as well to create the illusion of kind of smoke behind the fence here as well so but yeah I think it looks really cool I think he looks quite um, spot on in comparison to the films and then I wanted to also do like a movie poster styled shot as well so I just used a ring light at the back here again used the smoke effect with a red LED light behind him um, and a headlamp above let's just do a behind the scenes of that and there you can see how there's quite a lot of smoke effects still there um, but it really is a simple set, simple setup black card behind with the red shining onto it and then just the figure there so once again just put them on the turntable just so that I can go over the parts that I used so the weapons were from the toy biz version but you can get them from the guys over at Marvel Legends UK the trench coat is from the Hasbro Black Series General Hux the upper torso is from the Punisher but if you can get hold of a Punisher figure then you can also use the lower torso but I didn't have the lower torso and the boots so that I got those from the Mandarin figure from the Iron Man 3 film um, the sheath is from the guys at Marvel Legends UK as well as the head sculpt there's very minimal kind of paintwork needed um, and because he's wearing sunglasses you haven't got to worry about eyeballs etc but the actual paintwork didn't take too long I think the, the bit that took the longest was the actual black like the, the base coat and everything black so that it all fit in on the buckles on the front there as well from the toy biz so to replicate this exactly you are going to need the toy biz figure and the stuff from the guys at Marvel Legends UK the Punisher figure or a similar one and also a General Hux thank you very much for watching hope this video was useful Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. Do drop a comment below with your thoughts. And don't forget to check me out over on Instagram, Jacobs underscore toys.